Okay, so we gotta start off with a nice clean kitchen. And here are some dishes. This is another practice video where I'm about to make this. No, it is not a tutorial. I am just getting the food ready. Yes, I put the stove on, turn the heat on, and we're gonna do some hash brown type of thing. So if you watch closely, throw that butter right up in the pan. Yep. Now, I'm using a video leak to do my video editing today so i'll talk to you about that on youtube and how i use that with my go live video but here check out what we got we got some turkey bacon uncured thick cut turkey bacon <laughs> let that butter just melt but we don't want to melt too long now we're going to be frying so we have to turn that fan on above now put all those pieces of bacon up in there with no sleeves on uh, while it's not too hot so you don't get a whole bunch of grease pop mm -hmm. and you should always wear something on your arms whenever you're going to be frying up some bacon grease now we're going to put in a little red pepper and a little piece of onion so we're going to cut that up just let the bacon sit on the stove flame not too high yep and we're going to get out and we're going to always get work with a sharp knife by the way this is not the way to sharpen it you put it on the table but sharpen it and if you're going to sharpen it then hone your blade too so that it stays straight and get to cutting because that's what we do yep cut that bad boy up and the onion too so i like using video leak because as you saw before i could put in some text text right on top of the uh the video so it's an overlay and video leak made it pretty easy to do that you will have to get used to basic film editing um like i said this is not a tutorial video for food or for uh videos but i'm just sharing with you some things now here goes my garlic yep i'm gonna take this little bit of clove and i'm gonna channel my energy because this is fresh garlic so we're gonna have to smash that's right get down and mm, smash and smash use those uh oh michelle obamas that's right use those arms Get that strength. Did you mash it? Oh yeah. Look at check that out. <laughs> Let's get this done. Alright, so there we have some other sticker overlays. Another nice feature to use when you're using video leap. And uh okay, now we're gonna combine when we chop and mince fine that red pepper and that white onion. Okay. Now we're gonna get these uh in a bowl because that's what's going to uh, be with our eggs. I'm gonna scramble some eggs with that to go along with that bacon. So we just, uh, you know, some people can wash the shell of their eggs. I think that's a nice way to do. If you do happen to break some eggshell up into your eggs, then just use a piece of that clean shell to scoop it on out. Yep. Now I do something with my eggshells, but that's another story. I um, actually use them for my garden. I put them in the oven later on. So, you know, and my oven is on so that it'd be nice and warm. Put in my seasonings and my eggs. Yep, I like that old lemon seasoning, lemon pepper. We're going to use a fork to turn up. No, we are not. We are definitely not using a fork on my non-stick pan. That's right. Right about now, this bacon is looking like it wants some uh, action, like it needs to turn over. And it has shrunk down, and it was just sitting there in the pan, so it was time to turn over. Mm-hmm. Put some love on the other side of it. So there I am rearranging the bacon. And now I washed a little potato. And we're going to use this grinder. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. If it were, I would show you how this thing works. All I can tell you is it takes a little bit of muscle, but, you know, a whole lot less than grating on its own. And, uh, yep, so here's what it looks like. I use that thing and I, I get the, you get the workout in your arms turning that thing. That's right. Work those arms out. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flex it is. <laughs> Show them what it is. Yeah. Yeah, right. Back to business. <laughs> so we're making some sort of hash brown type of potato thing. So that's why I just grated up that potato. I'm going to form it into some patties in a little while. And by the way, I am cleaning as I go along. So I know this is sped up, so you can't really see. But that's what I'm doing every time I'm off camera. is just washing that dish that I did, that I used. 
So cook and clean. Yep, as you go along. Clean as you cook. Clean as you cook. Now potatoes hold a lot of water. So I'm going to be uh, squeezing out that water. That's why it's in the strainer. Yep, and I season it. Season those potatoes and uh, just strain that bad boy. Mm-hmm. Yep, washing some more dishes. That's what I'm doing off camera. Also, at this time, it's going to be time to take out the um, bacon out that grease. So, mm, that's nice and crispy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yet a little bit. Uh, uh, that's a thick cut bacon, so, you know, it's going to have a little bit of, uh, um, if you, you can cook it till it's uh, like beef jerky type of thing, or you can cook it real crispy. So we have it different ways in this household. And I'm not the bacon lover, by the way, but it's just I know how to cook the bacon. So that's what I'm doing. Now, have those eggs. And I uh, took that pan off the hot eye. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right. Now put that pan back on there. And the pan was nice and hot. Put the eggs up in there. You could keep your bacon warm up in the warm oven if you had your oven on this whole time. But I'm just going to put it under a uh, glass dome so that way the heat stays in there. Yep, eggs only take but a minute to cook. Yep, so we're going to scramble those things up in the pan with my silicone um, spatula. And then we're going to get it in the, the uh, mm, no, I guess they're not cooked long enough. <laughs> we can't have any runny eggs. No, no ma'am, no sir. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, there we go. Put those eggs in that dish. Yep. And cook those eggs till they're nice and hard. Cooked hard. Mm -hmm. Just cooked. If you want to add some cheese on it while it's hot, that's what you can do. Just put a little cheese on top. That's right. Keep that uh, frying pan hot. Throw some oil up in there because we're about to get to the potatoes. Mm -hmm. So, as we saw, I strained out the water from the potatoes. They hold a lot of water. And um, so, next. I'm just gonna wipe that counter where I cracked those eggs. Put a little vinegar water up under there and on that paper towel. And I'm, I'm just gonna give this a little rough cut, you know, so I shape the uh, potato strands into patties. Mm-hmm. And they're still so, so wet. Now, I know I shouldn't be adding any flour. Mm, just a sprinkle? Mm, mm, probably not, but whatever. I did it, it's too late. Did you know, it seems like sugar makes everything taste right. <laughs> Even on my potatoes? What? Okay, there's some old bay for you. That grease is nice and hot. Maybe a little too hot. Let's just combine that little bit of flour up on there. Okay, form that patty. And uh, mm, still a lot of water up in there. Guess I better get some paper towel. Squeeze some of that water out. Because you don't want your hash browns to be wet up in the pan. You want them to just sit in the pan and you don't want that water. So squeeze it out and make your little patties. Put it in the pan and that hot grease. Yep, I squeezed that water out. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even need any flour, but here we go. Wipe that counter. Wash that bowl. Mm -hmm. Oh, those eggs, that's right, I forgot. I need to keep the heat on that. So I just cover that. Uh, these have been cooking for a little while in the pan and that grease. Getting a little brown and toasty, like they should be. Okay. All right, so did you mash them? Mm-hmm. Pat those bad boys down, let them sit. If you did want to get any uh, toast, now would be the time to do it. You know, while you let, have that thing sitting on the oven. Toasted my bread. Mm hmm Yep. But you don't need toast plus uh, hash browns. But either way, let me butter this toast right up. Yep, I like my toast nice and buttery. Okay, well, that's about it. You know, peace. There's what it looks like. My motto, if you cook it, you will eat it. <laughs> All right, inspire kitchen confidence. Peace.